in this video, I'm going to show you the best defense that you can use to slow down and potentially stop the PA boot over or the bunch tight end offense. Now, the bunch tight end, in my opinion, is one of the best offenses in this game. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're going to teach you how to stop it here in just a second. But I also want to let you know that we're going to do this today out of the 46 playbook in the nickel 335 slash 335 wide defense. I'm going to show you a defense that it gets very rarely, it doesn't get called a lot, but it's honestly one of the better coverages in this formation. Now, if you enjoy this video and you want to learn more about the nickel 335 wide defense, be sure to join my Patreon membership. That's basically for 10 bucks a month, you get access to everything. You get all my ebooks, all my offensive ebooks, all my defensive ebooks. We've got a 4 6 ebook in there for you, and we got over 13 ebooks that you can utilize. So if you want to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to join that Patreon membership. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Now, how you want to set this up, you don't need to set any zone drops. You don't need to do any of that stuff. All you need to do is you need to put the cover four show two in your audibles. Then what you want to do is you want to go over to the nickel 335 normal, and you want to sub in safeties. As you can see, I've got safeties here at all of the linebacker positions. This is going to allow us to utilize cross man uh, to be able to man up different players, different problems within the formation. We're going to come out in any play out of this. I'm going to come out in the PA boot over, and we're going to first show you how to stop probably the best play in Madden 22, which is PA boot over. Here's how we're going to do this. What you're going to notice whenever you defend bunch tight end is there is going to be a little shift that's going to happen from your middle linebackers. You see right there, my middle linebacker basically runs off of the line of scrimmage. What I like to do is I'll typically bring him all the way down because I can kind of threaten some pressure, right? I can send pressure here, and then I could also send pressure over here. So this now gives me a little bit of a pressure look that I can take advantage of. Next thing what we want to do is we want to shift our D-line to the left, and we want to bring this safety down, and we want to user this guy. This is going to be our user. So we're going to shift our D-line to the bunch side. We're going to crash it out. We're going to stand kind of right in here. And then what we want to do is we want to bluff blitz our defensive end on the left side of the screen. And then the last thing that we want to do is we want to start cross-manning people. So uh, we're going to take that blitzing linebacker, and we're going to man him up onto the tight end. And then we're going to take the outside linebacker and we're going to man him up onto the square receiver. So you're going to see here that's going to leave it just like that. If you wanted to, you could man that guy up on the slot receiver. But my personal advice would be to man him up on the outside receiver. It's going to help us kind of contain the bomb a little bit, um, especially if you have a good safety that can cover in man coverage, uh, like you should if you have safety in there. So uh, PA boot over. All we really have to worry about on this play is we're going to go here and then we're going to see here. You see how it kind of basically just takes it away. Um, that cover four, because we manned up the tight end, that cover four quarter on that left, that right side will take away PA boot over pretty much as it, you know, it, it's going to take it away. Okay, so then what we need to do, as you can see here, we're going to man up, man up these guys in, in you know, kind of like that. So now all we really have to do from a user perspective is we just simply have to take contain the quarterback here on this outside you know, kind of contain and then kind of work to that. But as you can see, everything else is going to be bagged on boot over. So really, we're going to be more of an underneath player uh, whenever we're in a situation like that. Now, if you want to stop the play curl flat corner, which the play curl flat corner is basically the inverse of this, typically it's going to be something, you know, kind of like that, like I just showed you. Uh, what you're going to do out of this, cover four, show two, you're going to do everything exactly the same. The set is exactly the same. We're going to bluff blitz that defensive end. Once we shift them over, we're going and crash them out. And then we're going to uh, man up onto the outside receiver of the bunch. And we're going to man up on the backside tight end. So it's going to look just like this. And then we're using right in here. We're going to open up. Nope, no crosser. So now we're over here able to help. And what you're going to see is this outside quarter on the left side is going to take away the corner route that they can run to the bunch, uh, to the bunch side. So We've got everything kind of taken away within that coverage. Now, the next and the final thing that I want to show you is how we're going to use this defense uh, to defend against the bomb. So let's say, for example, that they want to try to bomb you, um, which is I think PA boot over has probably one of the best bomb concepts in the entire game. What you're going to see here is we're going to set it up kind of the standard way you would. And now the beauty of this is you're sitting right in this area of the field. You don't have to worry about the slant. You've got great zones on the field to be able to take care of a slant, right? So you don't have to worry about that. So you're just going to bail back here. But to be honest with you, for the most part, that cross man will take away that bomb and you're going to be, you know, you're going to be just fine. Now, let's say you're watching this video and you don't want to use your safety. That's perfectly fine. All we're going to do is we're going to blitz our user here. Everything else is going to be exactly the same, but now we're going to user this guy if we want to. And then what we're going to do is instead of using the that 
uh, crossman tactic. Now we're just going to man him up on, on that safety on the right side. We're going to man him up onto that tight end. And now, as you see, the exact thing, exact same thing is going to happen. The crosser from Pia Budover is going to be completely bagged. As you can see, you've got man coverage on the backside guy with a deep quarter zone going up high. So you've got pretty much everything taken away. Last but not least, guys, I want to show you one of the best bombs in bunch tight end. Uh, shout out to Sybil. This is, I'm pretty sure he invented this setup. Uh, but basically, what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly the same thing that I just showed you, the cross manning. Um, typically what I would do in that situation if I wanted to cross man this backside guy is I would do something like that. I think it's a little bit better of a cross man because it's a little bit more confusing. Uh, but anyways, what you're going to see here is if I streak that slot, maybe, uh, what you should see. Now this wheel route gets matched. You've got man coverage there, and you've got a guy over the top. And as you can see, the entire formation is basically shut down. So to me, this is the best way that you can def consistently defend bunch tight end out of the 3-3-5 wide. If you want to learn more about this, or if you just want to become a better Madden player, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership is just 10 bucks a month, and for just $10 a month, you're going to unlock um, every ebook that I've got. I've got 13 ebooks. This is just, this 3-3-5 wide is just one of my 13 ebooks. We've got eight defenses over there for you. We've got a ton of great content. And so if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, I would really encourage you to sign up for the Patreon membership. There's going to be a link in the description below. You can click that link link and join my patreon membership today for just 10 bucks and remember you can cancel that whenever you would like but i i really think it will help you become a better madden player it just does a little bit more of a deeper dive than what you see here on the youtube channel and really kind of give you an in-depth you know kind of step-by-step -step plan for how you're going to play defense and a step-by-step -step plan for how you're going to play offense so thanks for watching the video and we will see you guys next time